Mike, that's me. Well, that's me. 40 pounds lighter, but this is me now, talked into my first big role as a TV show star who gains weight over time to visually show how greed is his demise, or some crap like that. My project's fully funded. We've got a great director who can work with me and be an actor. What could go wrong? You ever felt just hopeless? Why, yes, I have felt completely hopeless. Look at me, I'm fat. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm very self-conscious with the, with the chubby look right now. Yeah, you told him the truth, but is he telling you the truth? I mean, really, Ariana Grande and Vanessa Hudgens' personal trainer? The lies just spin when you're getting paid. I can't wait to post that on Instagram. Oh, Jimmy Bod. Oh, new Bod, new. I'm like kind of fat jacked. How do you body? I'll get some. We'll figure it out. Oh, we'll figure it out? What if we lose funding? No, no, no. That's it. We're done. And then the beer on set is finished too. Well, There's no money. What? COVID killed us. If we can't go to the parties to get a little nose candy, some booger sugar, it's all fucked up, okay? So, no money, no show. You don't get paid. Crafty already left too. I didn't get to eat. You know, you feel like you don't need to eat like for a year. At least the business people are a little more honest. Take a shower too. What's the character? Okay, a, a little too honest for me. But maybe there's some funds lying around somewhere. No money. We're for broke. Today. Forever. Tell me, we, we can't finish this fucking shot down. Look, I can't even get snow in Montana right now. So no snow, no show. Besides, I wouldn't call you an. Okay. Please don't say actor. Please don't say actor. Please don't say actor. And this guy's meaner than Megan Thee Stallion's track coach. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Is that it? Did I get it? it wasn't bad. Did I get it? Day late, the dollar short. Oh shit. And here's a quick look at how a non paid director acts now. We got a job with the pimp at Hollywood and Vine. I'll go fill up your Escalade, asshole. Look. Oh boy, and then it just really spins out of control. They run down the resume, something about second assistant director on the Little Nas X, Billy Ray Cyrus, Old Town Road music video. Uh, something about, I need a non-paying job, like I need a malignant tumor up my... Eh. It's, it just spins out and out of control because these are creative people. And the more frustrated they get, the more they push it on other people. So in short, my TV show is a no-go. And that's what an unpaid actor looks like. <laughs> All right, time to go back to where I started stand-up comedy. It's not like I particularly enjoy San Jose. But I started stand-up there, and some of my best friends are there, like Reggie and Miss K. No matter how bad of a mood I'm in, I can call Reggie, and we'll be laughing in no time. I got this huge beard, and I'm fat now. It looks good, man. You think so? It's got like an Aquaman feel to it. I was thinking that. I wrote this joke about Jason Slowmoa. Yes. You know, because I move in slow mo. Big, the big dude is in. I'm telling you, I'm more sexy as a big dude than I ever want as a beanpole. He'll talk about getting bottle service for free in Vegas because they think he's Busta Rhymes, or his college football days where a fan drew a picture of him getting peed on. If I started out skinny and then just gained, they'd say, "Oh, he gained weight for that role." But now it's like, "Oh, it's just a fat dude that went all Chris Pratt on us." Yeah. But before too long, we get a good idea. I wrote a rap song. No. Yeah. I wrote a country song. Man. No, you did not. Yes. I know you'd be all over the George Strait. I'm telling you, man. You know that I, country club. Man, you know I like Lee Travis and all them motherfuckers. You know I like all that old stuff. You wrote a country song. And Miss K, she's the visionary. When we get too far off track, she reins us in. I'm trying. You wrote a rap song. Yeah, yeah. I love rap. Y'all don't see the problem here. Uh, we need a studio, we need to cut the tracks. Hootie is very no. successful. Hootie is the glue and the hoodie and the blowfish. He's very successful. You're definitely Things the blowfish, but listen. Freaky Friday moment. 
Yeah. Flip it. What? Uh, you think uh, I uh, rap? Uh, Country. Well, this is my race. Put the hat on. Do it, do it. I don't think it'll Put the hat on. Do it, do it. You think like, this looks like a country music guy? Garth Brooks all day. Bam! <laughs> and being an How Oakland native, it? she always has her about? thumb on the pulse of technology and pop culture. My boy likes this, uh, I think it's called like Sing Song or something. Sing Song. Sing Song. Oh. Sing Song is an app that allows musicians to pitch song ideas to producers and other musicians. Once a producer likes it, it moves on to record deals, endorsements, and radio play. In short, it's the hottest app in music. Watch this. Sing song. Do, do, do the pump it, ratchet, pops and rocks. That's mine. Oh, but it's not yours switching. anymore. This becomes a problem later. Alright. So shake me with the course, bro. How's it go? Pumpkin patch it ratchet. Pumpkin patch it ratchet. Pumpkin pack it ratchet. Patch it ratchet. Patch it ratchet. Patch it ratchet. Patch it ratchet. Because you're adding a patch hair. Oh, patch it ratchet. Ah. And I'm going to do a rain dance in my pit. Ah. Rain dance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're doing the rain dance. Around the pumpkin patch, pants so tight I can see her snatch. What is she doing? I don't know. She looking like a stripper on a pole. Now, if the booty was a song, it would win a Grammy. It's kind of weird that she's twerking it in front of the family. Booty bumping to the line and it's looking nice. What does she order? Pumpkin spice. Girl, you're ratchet. Girl, you're ratchet. Girl, you're pumpkin patch. You're ratchet. Girl, you're ratchet. I'm with my family. Your butter patchy. And I'm going to do a rain dance in my pants. Girl, you're ratchet. Girl, you're ratchet. Girl, you're pumpkin patchy, ratchet. Girl, you're ratchet. I'm with my family. Your butter patchy. And I'm going to do a rain dance in my pants. Leaves fall. Pants fall. Booty in the leggings got me begging, y'all. Boom, my latte. I'll pay the price. That booty is so fine. I call it pumpkin spice. We made it. So if you couldn't tell, we bought a mansion with our pumpkin patchy ratchy money. And for me, it really distorted my reality. I mean, just man, weird. This. this is nice. This is. I like this, man. I just, nothing makes me happier than pools. And a pool house, living in one. That's just it. That's just it, right? What? What? Man, Why? Why you see big old, look, just look one more time. Oh, look, just see, look how big this house is, bro. You know what I'm saying? This heated might, all kinds of stuff. My on. ego would expand to it and then go out of it. I so know. So you want to just live in here? Yes, I want to keep it grounded. I can't be. I can't be. You know, I'll be wanting to go to Mars or something if I live in there. I don't want to do that. Mars. So you're know, well, trying to tell me that you? So you want to come out this house, yeah, jump in the damn pool, butt ass naked, and then jump back, yeah, go in and drive and ride back in it. Run back in it. Also, it fall till I ball. Yeah, I Reggie's song no shoes, became a like massive shoes, hit you know, song. Also. And things were really good until they weren't. I'll just put it this way. It made me miss the good old days. Heated floor. Heated floor. Why not a heated floor? They run electricity underneath the damn thing. It gotta be a certain temperature. Each cobblestone? What do you mean? Don't need no rocking chair. Cause I ain't George Jones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have it out. we do the rest later? Not so far so right. I mean, you know, I mean, that's all right. You know George Jones is too. You know who that is, right? I'm only asking you know because I'm a black dude writing the song, so I'm gonna understand as a country. Well, which what? What's when you talking about the rocket ship? You know what you're talking about, right? No. What's yeah. it? Tell him, man. Teach him school. Okay, this is what it is. is. It the... Okay, it's the rocking chair. Basically, it's a metaphor for life. You know what I'm saying? Basically. No, really? Chair. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So you gotta, if you're gonna take it's the song, like, you gotta live it. It's like yeah, you it's gotta, a, you're, you're, you're like referencing one of his songs, which uh, they do that in country. Exactly. But they still stuff too, though. In country, in country, it's a different type of theory. Like, you know, how black people, you know, we, in the hip-hop game, we right. steal your music and re-rap it again. Right. In country, oh, it's, a it's, it's a different, yes. It's, mm -hmm. But it's like, out of homage, though. I found in country music, we see this homage. Mm -hmm. Like, it was a comic, KK do a joke, I do a joke again, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's homage, though. It's not yeah, like, yeah. oh, I can't believe you're trying yeah, to get rich off something that you No, I'm not trying to really jack it. I'm just... Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it's that. about. Yeah. yeah yes. cool. We're going we're gonna to get you together. Yes. All right. No yeah. more rapping.
That's so I got the rap. Not even the. I'm gonna get an orange t shirt and everything. Nope. No. No. Leave the rain in your pants. <laughs> ah, the good old days with friendship. Now I'm just living in some weird future with something missing. Ah. <sighs> so here's what happened. I wanted to combine oh, bands. Oh, I remember that time when I got stuck in Atlanta. Forget about it. Our manager and Reggie didn't. And perhaps a little greedy too. You just got these homes. I just got my home. I mean, what's going on? See? Like, as an artist, it means more if it's coming from the person that wrote the song. Yeah, yeah, like friends. And I guess they thought I was a diva. Keisha and Reggie were right. When it comes to country music, you do have to live it. But, unfortunately for me, I ended up singing that hit song and living it later. They got wrong. Come on! It came out the wrong way. Leaves are falling down. So am I Trying not to drown From the tears in my eyes Rocking in my chair Cause I ain't George Jones Thinking about the good times At the county fair Well I know that I messed up And it chills me to the bones When we argued that morning And you went home I should have said sorry, but I couldn't find the words. Wanna hold you and love you, cause you are my home. Well, I miss your summer loving and your pies from the oven. And I'm trying to understand the writings on the wall. Well, I wanna believe that you're coming back to me, but I know that you're gone. So I fall till I fall, yeah, I fall till I fall. All my rowdy friends went home this morning. Drinking fades out, memories fade in. Vision's still blurry as I look at my phone. Clearly without what I should have within. Bourbon's gotten shaken. Excuses I'm making Trying to push the thoughts of you Right out of my mind Would dial up your number Don't want to break your slumber Gonna push the thoughts of you Right out of my mind Well I miss your summer loving And your pies from the oven And I'm trying to understand The writing on the wall I just want to believe that you're coming back to me And I know that you're gone So I fall till I fall Yeah, I fall till I fall Leaves fall down And so do I Try not to drown From these tears in my eyes Well, I miss your summer loving And your pies from the oven and I'm trying to understand the writing on the wall. I just want to believe that you're coming back to me. But I know that you're gone, so I fall till I fall. Yeah, I fall till I fall. The Drinks with DD podcast is another fun show that I've enjoyed being a part of. Just a bunch of friends having fun at the bar, and since I despise the fake liars of the city of fallen angels, I made a choice not to do any of the talk shows, interviews, any of that stuff when I hit it big. And it just made me more popular, really. So when I decided to do an interview, I thought, I'm going to do it with friends and take it back to the old days. Okay, everybody, welcome to Drinks with Dee Dee. I'm your host, Dee Dee Sorvino. Yep, Dee Dee Sorvino, wife of film legend Paul Sorvino. 
Sir Paul did the podcast one time and told a crazy story about Francis Ford Coppola trying to convince him to have sex with his wife. Weird. Godfather should be like Rodfather. Gross. Poor Sophia Coppola. Now I guess we know why her movies we are so always weird. always have fun here. There's no script. We just go to the bar, have a drink, and have fun. But anyway, but our friend did. Michael is like, he has his hit song. Fall, yeah, fall till I ball. And uh, people <laughs> really seem to love it. Y'all, he's oh, the gosh. bearded Garth Brooks. Come on now, the bearded oh, Garth Brooks. I've heard that before. Thank you. I've heard that before. Well, There's definitely some George do. Strait vibes coming as well. George. Oh, oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. I hear that, dude. I don't know. If the George Strait were a Jedi, George. maybe in that room. Maybe a little boxcar <laughs> Willie, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's more man. like it. Definitely oh, not George Strait. Gosh. George Strait is the straight man. He is like perfect. He's beautiful. He's fabulous. Sorry. No. <laughs> not a George Strait fan. <laughs> Question: There's another hit song out too. Um, what do you guys think of uh, "Pumpkin Patchy Ratchy"? Oh, oh no, oh, oh no! Yeah. You did not. You did not Man. know what that is. You wow. got to be out of your gourd if you don't like that one. Yeah, I always turn the radio channel off. That I'm is so that. vile. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wait, Karen may like it. Oh, oh is that goodness. Karen? Oh dear, is Karen on dancing on the chair. I'm Sixty years old, and I can still rock it. There you oh, go. Hey. So, wow. Karen, wow. I think mean, Karen has good patchy, taste in music. Patchy, pumpkin patchy. What? That is the See, worst think... fucking name I've ever heard in my life. I mean, wow. It's really, it... if you take a bunch of Dr. Seuss books and put them all together, you can come up with the lyrics. I mean, it's stupid. Yes. It's so stupid. I'm sorry. My she doesn't have kids. No, I, I, I think the girls yeah. across the way from me are playing that all the time, but I just have to shut the window. So, 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 Michael, so you're at home a lot, but I understand that you're sharing a home with your partner well i'll just go ahead and say it my my idiot friend you know he just i I wanted to form a band with him but he didn't want to so i moved out i got my own place oh you guys have been friends for a really long time though yeah but you know hunter went on and got his art deal so i could see why he moved on you know, this is no, not, not, not Hunter, not even... Reggie. Oh. Reggie, yeah. <laughs> Reggie? So, so you're not living with Reggie anymore? He's just an ass. He's a pumpkin oh. song now. Well, that's a, a cute dog. You know, you, y'all have been friends for so long. I really don't feel like this is the end of you guys, though. You know, I think you can work things out. You think so? If you look at uh, the history and, and the fun that you guys have had before all of this glamour, you know, go back to your roots. You guys can work it out. It's not worth losing yes. friends over. And Sue's words really rang true for me. Like the time I was performing flat and she said, I think he needs more tequila. While it's true that there is such a common thing as too much tequila, she knew me and knew that not enough was also possible. Like the time I filmed a one-hour comedy special and called the audience racist 10 minutes in and then ate crap on multicam for 50 minutes. Not just a bomb, but a bomb in HD editors at this time it seems like a parallel to singing someone else's song but also throwing away a friendship that got me to where i am now that seems dumb i see the big picture now and the big picture yeah. is friendship what do you think father there's forgiveness and there there's uh, getting along especially if you have a working relationship you can p- tie to in the past i mean that's one of the things that you you can look back to the better things rather than the things that are tearing you apart Amen. Oh my god. Oh my god. My like hand's going to explode. No. Forget <laughs> it. Fuck them. Fuck them. Oh. No. Forget it. You know what? After, no, you know, if you're like a cheater or a liar or a fucker, you never change. You forget it. You <laughs> Excellent philosophy. Wait, wait. Just remember, a leopard never changes its stripes. Maybe you could go to a Billy Ray Cyrus show. Yeah. Man, I love this show. Well, Strangely enough, I see yeah. things clearer now. Lot to be learned. I just, let's just not mess with success. Let's just, just keep things the way they are, okay? Go back to the old school. You know, so look at it. Yeah, yeah. Being friend, friendship is what matters. I agree. And if that, if, if, if doing our own band together messes that out, I don't want to mess it up. I agree. I, I don't want to do that either, man. I don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah.
I couldn't even, I just, I really just appreciate what we got, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. In fact, you know what I'm saying, I mean, you can be a man in Georgia later, but I, I, I really like that, man. You know right. Oh, so you do want to be in a band? I mean, it's, I, I yeah. would argue. I mean, huh? Yeah. You man. do? Yeah, man. Atlanta, Georgia, layover! I love it! Love you too, man. <laughs> And just like that, the Atlanta Georgia layover was born, and friendship wins. I'll be, I'm down. I mean, I feel like Because the good thing about friends is they help you zoom out and see the big picture. Yeah, man. And you can't forget about the big picture.